Hello and welcome back to Europa Universalist 4. I am Lord Farns here playing as the Timurids. So I am attempting a fairly difficult, probably one of the more difficult starts in this game. I am going to attempt to play as the Timurids and, re and create the Mughals, which if you haven't seen someone try and do this, it is extraordinarily difficult considering the... Um, pretty dire straits that you start in as the Timurids. Um, you're way too big, your horde unity goes down by four a year. Um, you are a horde, which is absolutely crippling. And other other assorted factors, the fact that I can't even upkeep my current military, um, and the fact that all my claim, all my missions involve me invading Delhi. Um, so let me just get some allies started here. We'll grab Baluchistan as an ally, because they make a very good defensive ally to the south. I'm going to, let's see, shift my trade from gathering in Persia, uh, even though it doesn't really gather in Persia, to actually gathering in Kashmir, because that's getting me five gold a month. That's why it says I'm positive at the moment. Okay, let's also start moving my troops to the border with Delhi. Also... Uh, Akor Quinlu, I'd like to, but Akor Quinlu's right next to the uh, Ottomans, and so we'll get killed on its own. Let's raise a fairly good-sized band of mercenaries and cavalry units. Uh, also, most importantly, let's um, disinherit my heir, because that is one of the absolutely worst starting rulers I could have possibly gotten. Um, let's get Shigati as an ally. Um, the Rate Horde won't ally me. Let's ally to Nogai. To anyone in India I can be allies with other than Jean Per. Delhi would like to be allies. The problem is I have to invade Delhi. Um,. Okay, I did fire an advisor here, hoping to possibly reroll to a better one, but that failed. Okay, okay, I've got a new uh, queen. Let me snag a... Oh, wow, I'm not getting any good advisors this game. Ouch. Okay, Multan is not allied to anyone, and I can declare war. Perfect. So this strategy to playing as them, I should probably mention that, mainly involves an immense... Wow, that's a genius general. Uh, mainly involves essentially a crazy blitzkrieg into India to take the land necessary to become the Mughals, which is Ro, which I already own, Lahore, Sirhind, Delhi, and Central Duab. Um, luckily, Delhi itself controls three of them. Central Duab is controlled by Jean Per, which is going to be a bit trickier to break. Um, this army is just going to keep suffering attrition left and right. Um, I'm actually going to put my um, leader in the field because in some ways if he die dynasty dies out I'm guaranteed a half decent ruler. Okay, let's move this guy here. Let's put this guy in charge since this army is sitting on the borders. Might as well use it. Okay, where have we my rest of my armies? Oh, that army stopped moving. Okay. Let's get military access from Baluchistan. They can sneak this army into this. They should be able to. Through the south. They should be able to win that fight. Yep. Okay. Perfect. And it's gonna. I'm going to wipe out that army. Good. Let's group these guys together, put them on the border. See, did I get any good general stuff? No, I did not. Okay. Um, all I need to take from Multan is the Sin Sagar and then vassalize them, ideally. Uh, still gotta take the fort, though. Shame. Okay. I am a nomadic horde, so I can't have a higher distribution of cavalry to 
uh, infantry than I would otherwise. Oh, that religious unity is going to cause trouble with terms of uh, getting stuff going. Uh, I'm going to boost admin power because I do have to core quite a bit of land. I really do need another general, but that will have to wait till either Multan falls or I get 50 military strength. Then I'm just essentially just going to immediately declare war on Delhi. And I'm going to go negative money here, probably. Yep. Oh, and my ruler died. Perfect, actually. Oh, that actually works out marvelously. I do lose stability, and I am going to go into debt, but I have a much stronger ruler, and I can actually start converting things. Because that's part of the problem playing as the Timurids, is you've got your Sunni, and you've got all this Shia land, and a Zoroastrian province. That would be kind of fun to play as Zoroastrians. Um, but I'm not going to try it. I want to do get this accepted culture, though. That will help a bit dealing with Afghan rebels. Yeah, they no longer are unaccepted culture penalty. Let's give me a better general on the field. Ooh, wow. Two, uh, this, it's look like I got the same guy, Hussein Akbar and <laughs> Hussein Akbar. Um, that's a bit odd. Um, I can declare war on them, so I'm going to start a war against Delhi. I want to take Lahore. Um, I do not want to deploy my general uh, leader to the field, though. Um, what in the world is going on here? Who <laughs> is going to make me march all the way around there just to siege this province? That is so weird. Uh, free army from Kashmir. I think that was Kashmir, right? Yeah. Multan has completely fallen, so they will become a vassal, and like you get money. Okay. That's good news. Um, I really gotta hunt down that Sindh army though. And I gotta cause correct this negative uh, stability. Luckily with a better ruler than I had before, this should be a lot easier. A 1-1-1 one, one, one ruler as a horde is just crippling. Where are you going? I don't actually know where that army is going to fight me. Right now I should be able to win this war, um, even if I'm at an even level, because my troops are superior. Thata is under siege. Okay, that might... That could be good for forcing them out. I've got a navy, which I've got to get rid of. There we are. Looks like Bengal is sending troops by sea, which I should be able to stop. Yes. Actually, a big one there. That hurts their war enthusiasm for sure. Come on, take these provinces, please. Sin still wants this war. Okay. I have no idea where this army is moving. It's just kind of marching around the map. Okay, Jingladesh has fallen, but since they're a vassal of Delhi, that won't do anything for me. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to send this army around. I think it'll be way too late, though. Yeah. At least I didn't, my army didn't get, you know, like, routed or something completely. Okay, I did catch them, so that's good news. They didn't get away with destroying my military. Oh, and I routed them. Perfect. Uh, Sindh wants peace. Um... I actually don't want that. I want them to give land to El Multanis in the war. That's awkward. Um, yeah, I guess I'll have to just accept peace with Sindh. Free money and a truce is always nice. Means I can move that military down here. Uh, I also have to attack John Purse, so I'm looking at what that will take. 
Uh, we'll execute the bailiff, even though that gives me some negative stuff. There's the autonomy for that province. I know I did take the mission Riches of India here, which essentially means conquer all of Delhi, but it only gives me trade efficiency. But I can use it to leverage towards the Mughals, which is what I'm doing. Um, where's my other army that got smashed? Okay, let's bring them back. Actually, I can put a general in charge of them. Oh, wow, I'm getting some nice generals. I just have to take Sir Hind and then on to Delhi, and this war should be over. Kashmir looks like it's been largely wiped out, which is actually kind of ironically fine. Um, I will cancel Ponderati with them, though. Actually, wait, I can't. I actually can't cancel paying for the Ponderati. That's kind of weird. Okay, they should yep, take Doba there. Actually not in terrible shape. Um, Bengal still wants the war. Okay. I'm going to actually send this army back to hunt down Bengal's army before they take too much of my land. Having that one fort there does slow them down a little bit, but not as much as I'd like. Sorry about any background noise. People are moving around in here. Um, okay. Annoying attrition. I've got to really keep an eye on how much manpower I have. Because I do need a lot for the next war. And more importantly, after the next war, I do need a lot to maintain the empire till I can get to the Mughals. Luckily, I don't think I have any other achievements. Yeah, I just have to have total development 600 at peace and own those nations. Oh, uh, those territories. And then I'll get it. I should win that one pretty handily. Yes. Okay. Let's see. I should be able to win that one too. And route their army. Okay. And I took the province. Good. Uh, there we are. That should make Bengal want to leave. No. Wow. For once, Bengal is being very loyal. Do I have enough? St I'm getting close to having enough stability. I'd like to get to positive ones. St oh, wow. That may have just been one of the more suicidal AI moves I've seen in a while. Bengal is still happy about the war. This is very weird. Okay, that's what I need. It's going to put me in massive aggressive expansion, though. But... I don't have much choice in the matter. I'm not going to try and stay as the Timurids there. Pretty crippled, even if they get this one yearly horde unity. I mean, they're the only horde with it, so they could technically half decently survive, but the base level is negative two, so at most they get negative one. Uh, is that enough for Bengal to leave? No. Really? Compromise, if it puts plans in motion, sure, I'll take that. Here's the Persian uprising I've been worried about. The militant sect or whatever. Um, reduce war exhaustion a bit. Persian separatists are getting uppity, so let's sadly raise autonomy in all that land. I know, isn't it painful? Luckily, Afghanistan seems to be loyal at the moment, because uh, it's no longer a non-accepted culture. So I have done this once in a multiplayer game, forming the Timurids, and at that point, uh, forming the Mughals, at which point I was unstoppable. I was number one in the world. But uh, it's not easy to do. It's really not easy to do. I'd like to do it in this. I don't think they have any specific achievements other than the standard Muslim ones. 
Oh, uh, there's Rays of Province with 30 development. Mm. That's about it. So, we'll see what I can do. I did form it before, so if there was an achievement about forming the Moogles, I'm not going to get it. I've done it, oof, like four or five packs ago, or expansions. It's been quite a while. I actually don't mind with those Hindu Zealots rising up in Bangladesh here. That's fine with me. Part of the reason I want to form the Moogles is they have arguably the best idea set as an issue in some ways. They have claims on all of India, which is absolutely monstrous, to be honest. Um, okay, I can take all of that. Um, war reparations and some money, maybe? Let's do that. Okay, got all the land I need to from Delhi. Which is good. Now I've got to worry about Jean Per. Which is not going to be as easy. They are Marwat, Kangra, and they have all kind. Marwat's easy. Actually, they're fairly weak. Yeah, they're fairly weak. I just got to get the event that gives me. Uh, there we are. Tribal Conquest. Now I can attack them. Last time I did this, they were allied to... I think they were the ones allied to Bengal, and this got a lot harder. Last time I tried to play this. Uh, raise war taxes. How much of this do I actually need? Um, I think Sir Hind was one, wasn't it? Yep. Okay, so I will core Sir Hind. Or Sir Hind, actually. The Horn Delhi, that's a couple hundred. Central Doab is going to be a lot. Free Kondorati, that's always nice. Morwat is under siege anyway by somebody else. Dundahar. Next is from Bengal. Oops, I forgot about this. I should probably get trade power from Baluchistan. Yeah, I actually... This should be a very easy win. Although they are fighting up there. I don't think they're going to win it. Nope, they didn't. Who is that? That is... Kangra. Oh, Kangra is... Where is Kangra located? Oh, they're there. Uh, I should probably send an army up there to deal with them. Not that I'm going to try and take much land in this. In fact, I want to take very little land if I can help it. I don't want to go over that hundred over extension. If possible. Um, I'm also going to improve relations with Bengal. I'd like them as an ally. They're pretty strong. Botanist would be another choice or Gujarat or whatever their name is. They don't like me though. Hmm. Um... I should have probably done some of this little stuff earlier. Make sure my allies are going to stay fairly loyal. Transfer trade power. Can't there. Military access. Offer military access. These little stuff that get me a little bit better relations with them. Just like that. Oops, wrong button. Okay. Almost can start coring Delhi. And Central Doab has almost fallen as well. I need, what is it, 600 development? I have 560, so... I may actually have to take a little bit more land than I wanted to in this war. Or I'm going to have to wait and fight another couple minor wars. Although, to be honest, I'd prefer to take it from Jean Per, because they're a pretty strong nation in general. Jean Per, I guess. I keep saying Jean Per, I don't think that's right. Marwat wants to leave the war, yes, because they've been conquered by someone else. Fine with me. What do you want, though? I need... 
much development is this? It's 25, that's 13. I need at least 40 or so. So I'll also have to take et wall here. It's going to be a large coalition I'm going to be fighting now. Very large. Surprisingly stable though, which is good. I'm probably going to keep this video going, even though it's getting towards the running long time, just so that I get all the conquests necessary for the Mughals. And then I'll uh, worry about coring it and forming them probably next video. Ah, uh, Siege of Congra fell. Okay, Congra has fallen. Um, too bad I can't actually take land from them. Probably could have vassalized them, but it's not that great land to be honest. In some ways I'd almost prefer to get Kashmir on my side and use them to reconquer it. Actually, I could do that, couldn't I? I might actually do that. Because this siege is going to take a while. And Kashmir, there's no way Kashmir has any real amount of troops. Multani... Multan wants that land. Czar? Just John per left. I want to get to the point where I can kind of threaten people. Punjab, obviously. Oh yeah, I forgot to very stupidly to raise autonomy there. Oops, one of my genius generals just died. And I have a new heir, good. That certainly helps. Oh, the weak claim now. Oh, I may have to disinherit him once I become the Mughals, assuming my ruler lives till then. Well, surprisingly, it's turned into a bit of a waiting game here. Yeah, I'll take free troops. Dundahar is going to give me six free regiments, which I'm perfectly willing to take. Kashmir should fall. Why do I have so many diplomatic... Oh, because I've got two vassals already. I kind of forgot about those two. Maybe I should just take that land. Might be easier. At least less painful in the long run. Not yet. I need that province here. Unwilling to give me the land I need. Silly loans. John Per has fallen. Okay, now I should be able to get away with it. And some money, please. There we are. Overextension for days, though. I am over a hundred, darn. Um, I'll do a lot more, I guess. It's worth more. So, I'm going to have a bit of a fun time here. Although, will that core construction lower me below it? No, I'm going to need two. Once Delhi's done, I should be good, though. That's going to be a while, though. Kashmir. Uh, yeah, I might as well take it. Especially because I can, in fact, I can raise it if I want. Give me some horde unity and give me some admin power as well. About as much as it takes to core it. That's ironic. Okay, now it's just a matter of hanging on until all this land becomes cored. So, um, once I give this tribe some land, where are we? Yeah, I'll give you that province. That should be it for this video, and uh, I'll continue it all next time. I'm in a good, fairly, fairly good spot at the moment. The coalition against me is large. I have too many troops, but it's kind of be expected. So that is it for this video, and I will see you all next time as they get closer to forming the Mughals. Bye for now.